think a lot of people would feel that surrogacy is a legitimate way for a, a woman who is unable to have a baby to, to have a total have a stranger child. carry a baby that's your DNA I don't think there's anything normal about it we don't do it with animals we don't do it with anything in fact we interfere with nature where does it end and at what point does it not become um, you know the humanity in me says everybody has a right to you know procreate and go forth and we don't get to choose the rules who does that and who doesn't what we don't get the rules to say is that when nature works against us we just go out and buy what we want have and babies have, have, have you ever had any sort of medical treatment so yes is that not interfering with nature um, well you know the problem with a baby's life is that I'm interfering with my body for my medical reasons um, I'm not creating a new life and I'm not buying so we had an issue with slavery hundred years ago you know, a couple hundred years ago, we've all fought to make everybody equal. Um, we're not all equal. But, and if we go down this road... medical science moves on. And if you can use medical science to help you... I mean, time was you could... Um, you know, you, you died of typhus. Um, well, you still do in some of the African countries. Uh, but now we have antibiotics, and therefore people don't, in the first world, die of typhus anymore. Uh, now there, you can have assistance if you're having difficulty... Um, conceiving a child and certainly I think if people are desperate they should be allowed to use any methodology th uh, to to have a child if they want to whether it's surrogacy or IVF or whatever uh, but it I agree with you on the arm candy business because when you get people who are literally buying kids in order to put them on display because that's to perfect not your life but the public appearance of your life.